Hello, I am Abraxan Evelyn, the beauty for chick. Welcome to my channel, a place where you will learn a lot of tricks and tips for food and beauty. Um, today on the beauty for chick, I'll be showing you how to make the creamiest mashed potatoes. We'll be needing salt, Irish potatoes. Uh, you may want to skip the new Irish potatoes, butter, and cooking cream. That's a really simple ingredient, but the result is so good. All right, guys, without making much ado, let's go right into today's look at that. So you want to peel your potatoes and cut them into small pieces and uh, let the water cover the Irish potatoes. Cut them into sizes like this for fast cooking and you want to add a generous amount of salt. Then allow this to cook for let's say about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes because you really want it soft. Do not cook on low heat. While our potato is boiling, we'll go ahead and prepare our cooking cream. And I needed to add some flavor to this so that the Irish, the mashed potato has this. Mm. So I added dill, basil, and oregano, all fresh herbs. I'll bring this to a boil and the, all of the flavors from these herbs will be infused in this cooking cream. And uh, if you want, you can add garlic to this. Now, let's check if our potato is ready let me show you how you know when your potato is ready push your fork right through it and if it goes in easily like this then you know your potato is ready now go ahead strain all of this beautiful cream to remove the herbs and your cooking cream is ready for the potato. After doing this, you want to strain your Irish potato that has been boiled and bring it back into a dry pan. This is just to be able to remove the excess water because you really want this dry and ready for mashing. Ah. Uh, for mashing, what do you do? I will advise that you do not use um, hand uh, blender or hand mixer or... Ah, nah. You want to use a mashed potato masher like this. Or some people use sieve, but ah, I find that very hard and difficult to do. This is very easy, like really, really easy. You press hard into it and ooh, 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 it just comes out easy like this. But if you really want your potato smooth, you want to do this like about two times. You repeat it about two times, yeah. And uh, you know, my channel, it's all about giving you restaurant quality meals. You know, that kind of easy to make. Yes. These are treats you should give yourself, your family, your loved ones, you know. So, look at all of the beauty coming out of this mash potato masha. Uh, use whatever is effective for you but 
I will not recommend a stick blender. No, 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 no. I will not do that. Look at how that is. Now, let's go right into the business of the day. You want to melt your butter and add all of this, but in bits in bits not everything at once then you mash or mix with a spatula just look at that no lumps nothing just looks so beautiful it looks really really beautiful add another butter now i must say Mashed potato made this way is really unhealthy. But trust me, it's beautiful, unhealthy. Look at how beautiful that looks. This is something you should eat once in a while, not all the time. So it's okay. A little fat hasn't killed anyone. Bring in your herb infused cooking cream now the ratio of butter to cooking cream should be let's say to two portions of your butter you want to use one portion of the cooking cream i don't know if this makes sense but mind you, do not put too much cooking cream. If not, it will turn your mashed potato to become whitish. Look at how beautiful this, this is. After this, you want to pop it in the oven or microwave just to give it a fluffy effect. And voila! You are still here with me? Oh my god, thank you. Now go ahead and make this even more creamier. Add oil, add some gravy. A recipe of this gravy will go up very soon. And my god, good food is good business, guys. You want to garnish with black pepper parsley or basil or dill you know just the combination of the oil the gravy the fresh herbs the dry herbs everything just makes so much sense and you end up with this beauty the creamiest creamiest i mean the creamiest mashed potato ever look at this isn't this restaurant quality and i just made it you can also pair this with your sunday roast look at this well rested lamb the vegetables oh my god you can only imagine how this tastes what are you waiting for go ahead take notes start shopping prepare this for your family this is soul food no greater love than feeding the people you love with good food thank you so much if you've been here all this while do me a favor go ahead click the like button share my video out leave me a comment or two about what you think about this recipe and um, if you haven't subscribed you may want to consider subscribing thank you so much thank you now i must add that it's always good to use old potato because it's it has more starch and it adds to your creaminess thank you so much guys i love you all Ah!